how to remember some trig derivatives. I'm going to show you some strategies that I've seen people use. Can you remember to draw this rectangle? Because if you can, then you can remember the derivatives of all of the trig functions that involve tangent, cotangent, secant, and cotangent. And the way it works is this. When you want to find the derivative of something, you treat that thing as a corner. And then you go from that thing to the next and the next in the same row and you multiply those. So if I wanted to find the derivative of tangent of x, I start here in the corner with tangent of x and I go secant, secant. So the derivative is secant of x times secant of x or secant squared of x. And you can play this game all of the trig derivatives. So what if I wanted to, I'm going to make my rectangle again here. So what if I want the derivative of cosecant of x? Well, I start here in this corner, and then I'm going to go the next two items in the row and multiply them together. So the derivative of cosecant of x is negative cosecant of x times cotangent of x. I find that this is actually really helpful, and I'm really thankful to the student who showed it to me. Again, tan, seek, seek, cot, negative coseek, coseek. So if I want the derivative of cotangent of x, I'll go to the other two things in the same row and I'll multiply them together. So I see that's negative cosecant of x times cosecant of x, which is negative cosecant squared of x. And finally, of course, it works the same way for secant. You make your little rectangle and you've made this rectangle so many times that it's burned into your brain. I want the derivative of secant of x. I take the other two items in the row and I multiply them. So I see secant of x here, and then I see tangent of x. And that gives me a pretty easy way to remember the other derivative the rules. So if you're having difficulty with that, or if you just want to be more certain about it, I hope you find that helpful. Thanks. Let me know if you have any questions.